Well, one of my favorite techniques in the world, believe it or not, is spoon jacking. Just about any lake has a spoon jack in place. And right now on this lake, because the docks are so shallow, you gotta pick a bridge. Bridge piers are great, great places to spoon jack. They're very annoying places because you gotta listen to cars drive over your head. But spoon jacking piers is a lot of fun. We're sitting in about 27 foot of water right here, but merely you're just taking your spoon in there and again, 27 to 30 foot deep, no big deal. I let it fall all the way to the bottom because it doesn't take very long. And you're just merely throwing it down there and you're lifting it off bottom a couple times, jacking it a couple times and then reeling it in. And then you go on to the next set of bridge piers. A lot of times these fish will be suspended against these bridge piers and they'll follow your bait and eat it or eat it as it's passing by. But again, I wanna focus on the shade just like I would if I'm fishing boat docks. It falls backwards. Once I pitch it in there, it keeps going the direction that I pitched it at. So it finds its way to the shade in case you're not very good at pitching. Your rod, reel, and line setup's pretty simple. Just remember, flipping stick, 20 to 25 pound fluorocarbon line because you don't want any stretch, but you don't want braid because you can't get braid unhung, all right? You can't really bounce anything. And you want on a seven and a half foot flipping stick and a seven to one or better gear ratio because once you do hook a fish, you want to go ahead and be able to reel them in. So if you're trying to determine what size of spoon to use, whether it's a one ounce, a one and a half or a two ounce spoon or even bigger, you want to determine first, are them bass suspended up high in the water column? Are they real close to the bridge piers? Are they five or six foot deep underneath the boat dock in the shade? If that's the case, then you want to use a, like a one ounce spoon. If those fish are halfway to the bottom over 80 foot, you might want to go ahead and use a spoon that falls a little faster, all right? Or if they are on bottom, use the biggest spoon you can get away with so it gets down there to the bottom the fastest. The fish will tell you how deep they're suspended. And there's days too when they're suspended up high, you don't have to let it fall to the bottom. You're just wasting your time. So throw it in there, it sinks about 10 seconds, reel it in, don't let it get to the bottom.